up if you haven't subscribed please kindly subscribe and like and share videos by so the algorithm pushes the videos to many students to help them now moving on straight to what we'll be treating today we'll be talking about how the second method of storing objective answers on a calculator we have already seen the first method if you haven't seen that go to our previous video and watch that part the part one of storing objective answers on the calculator now moving on straight looking at the image above we have a half set of answers one to five one is a two is b three is a four is a five is c now in order to store alphabet on a calculator the calculator was made to store numbers in variable so a is a variable b is a variable c is a variable d e f x y m these are all variables and they allow you to store numbers in them so to store our objective answers we have to represent every alphabet in the answers with a number or we have to represent each alphabet as a number so a represents one b represents two c represents three G represents 4, E represents 5, F represents 6, and so on. So moving on to our second part. To the second part, we have a question on board. We have 10 objective answers. 1 to 10. 1 is A, 2 is B, 3 is A, 4 is D, 5 is A, 6 is C, 7 is B, 8 is A. A and so on now solving this on the calculator this is how it would be first enter so we have question we have one as a two as B three as a four as D five as a 6 as C, 7 as B, 8 as A, 9 as B, and 10 as C. So we have represented all the alphabet as numbers. As numbers. You can see clearly on our screen. We have represented all the alphabet as numbers. Now we click on Shift Store then we choose a variable to store this in so let's choose a a so we say all these numbers is mapped to a good in order to recall the alphabet we have stored in a as numbers we have to click on shift or we have to click on recall so recall a and we see all the numbers which represent alphabet in a so taking a good a complete example taking a complete example of questions and answers so we have question 1 to 20 so we have answers to question 1 to 20 here. So on the image above, we store the first as this. So the first pen, we have 1 as A, 2 as B, 3 as A, 4 as C, 5 as A, 6 as B, 7 as C, 8 as A, 9 as B, 10 as C. Then we store this in a variable. So shift store in A. Good. Now we store the next set as B. So that's from 11 to 20. So 11 is C. 
12 is B, 13 is C, 14 is A, 15 is D, 16 is C, 17 is D, 18 is A, 19 is B, 20 is C. So we store this shift store as B. At any point in time, we can recall the answers in this variable A and B. So recall A. We have our answers here. So 1 is A, 2 is B, 1 is A, 3 is C. So this is represented as A, B, A, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. We can also recall uh, B. And B we have C, B, C, A, D, C, D, A, B, C. So this is how to represent alphabet or objective answers on a calculator. Thanks for joining us on Math Hub. Before that, before you leave, kindly subscribe and like and share. This is how the algorithm pushes the video to a lot of students to help them. Please leave any question in the comments below. Thanks for joining us. See you in our next video. Bye.